we? The future. Wow. Uh, the future sure is white. Yep. The future's been white since the 70s. Wow. I didn't know that. So, well, what about the theme song? Bob, the future holds no theme songs. Huh? Theme songs are too predictable, too repeatable, too ordinary. The future is about the unpredictable, the unordinary, the unexpected. You know why this is funny, Bob? Uh... Because it's unexpected. That's why. That's what makes this chicken head funny. You weren't expecting me to put on a chicken head, were you, Bob? Uh... Of course you weren't. If you knew I was going to put on a chicken head, it wouldn't have been funny. Well, uh, I don't know about Comedy that. is like the future itself. Unexpected. That's why, in the future... Uh, Larry, you can take off the chicken head now. Oh, right. That's why, in the future, entertainment will be randomly generated. Randomly generated? Randomly generated. What better way to achieve the unexpected? I've seen the future, Bob, and the future is autotainment. The future is now. Hi, Rusty. Hi, Ventrilomatic. Hi, Larry. Hi, Bob. Greetings. Hey, those are robots. Affirmative. Not only that, but these guys represent the hosts of the future. Unlike us, their humor can be truly randomly generated. Right, guys? Why did the chicken cross the road? I don't know. Why did the chicken cross the road? <laughs> Weed eater. Now that's funny. That doesn't make any sense. It's funny because it's unexpected. Well, whatever happened to it's funny because it's true? Two plus two equals four is true, but not funny. Guys? What is the solution to the equation two plus two? I don't know. What does two plus two equal? <laughs> Weed eater. That's a good one. About this. It seems like we got a pretty good thing going, and I like my job. I don't want to give it up to a couple of robots. You can't stand in the way of progress. It's veggie versus machine, Bob, and the machine's got the upper hand. Uh, the upper hand? Yep. Besides, if you think kids learn a lot with us, just wait till you see all the great lessons they'll learn with autotainment. Here's how it works. Mr. Lunt? Hi, I'm the techno guard of the future. I've secured future employment by becoming one of them. We'll engage the Wheel of Veggies and the Swarming Balls of Disorder. The Wheel of Veggies will choose a performer at random, and the Swarming Balls of Disorder will determine both the topic and the genre of the song. Okay, robots. Techno Gord, take it away. The future is now. It's Larry's Wonderful World of Autotainment. It's Larry's Wonderful World of Autotainment. Oh, uh, Larry, I thought you said the future didn't have theme songs. I did, so you didn't expect it. And that makes it funny. Hi. Starring those adorably amusing artificial intelligence units, the Ventrilomatic and Rusty, with the techno guard of the future, Mr. Lunt. Where does a sheep go to get its haircut? I don't know. Where does a sheep go to get its haircut? So he says, what are you talking about? That's not my dog. <laughs> Please activate courteous recognition sequence for... With a song regarding Nautical Refuse. Hello, Jean Claude. It appears there's a problem in the sea. There's a little hole, and it's accumulating a lot of junk. Oh, oh. there's a hole in the bottom of the sea. There's a hole in the bottom of the sea. There's a hole. There's a hole. There's a hole in the bottom of the sea. See, I told you. Wahoo! Yeah. There's a log in the hole in the bottom of the sea. There's a log in the hole in the bottom of the sea. There's a log. There's a log. There's a log in the hole in the bottom of the sea. 
But that's not all, we've only just begun. There's a bump come along and you're falling in the bottom of the sea. There's a bump on the log and you're falling in the bottom of the sea. There's a bump on the log and you're falling in the bottom of the sea. There's a bump, there's a bump, there's a bump on the log and you're falling in the bottom of the sea. Oh, I love this song, Jean-Claude. Wonderfully recorded, Philippe. There's a frog on the bump on the log in the hole in the bottom of the sea. There's a frog on the bump on the log in the hole in the bottom of the sea. There's a frog, there's a frog, there's a frog on the bump on the log in the hole in the bottom of the sea. Oh boy, this is crazy. It's getting nuts, no? There's a fly on the frog on the bump on the log in the hole in the bottom of the sea. There's a fly on the frog on the bump on the log in the hole in the bottom of the sea. Okay again. Ah, oh, here we go. There's a wing on the fly on the frog on the bump on the log in the hole in the bottom of the sea. Oh, oh. There's a wing on the fly on the frog on the bump on the log in the hole in the bottom of the sea. There's a wing, there's a wing, there's a wing on the fly on the frog on the bump on the log in the hole in the bottom of the sea. Oh, oh Sean God, you are looking green. Not that good. There's a tree on the wing on the fly on the frog on the bump on the log in the hole in the bottom of the sea. There's a bee on the wing of the fly on the frog on the bump on the log in the hole in the bottom of the sea. There's a bee, there's a bee, there's a bee on the wing of the fly on the frog on the bump on the log in the hole in the bottom of the sea. There's a bee, there's a bee, there's a bee on the wing of the fly on the frog on the bump on the log in the hole in the bottom of the sea. Thankfully, the flea is clean. Oh yeah. The harmonizing bee is providing most entertaining demonstration which served as a reminder. How do you sink a submarine full of peas? I don't know. How do you sink a submarine full of peas? Your boat has not left the driveway in 15 years. Oh, you're killing me! But seriously, folks, next up, we have a very talented performer. Please welcome... Ah, oh, great! Huh? Performing a song on the topic of... Biblical dwarves. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Zacchaeus was a wee little man, and a wee little man was he. Really little. He climbed up in a sycamore tree for the Lord he wanted to see. Hello. And as the Savior passed that way, he looked up in the tree, and he said. Zacchaeus, you come down! For I'm going to your house today. Yes, I'm going to your house today. <laughs> hey, what's with the Egyptian thing? <laughs> Here we go, one more time. Zacchaeus was a wee little man, and a wee little man was he. Very tiny, he climbed up in a sycamore tree for the Lord he wanted to see. <laughs> Oh, I'm 
I'm just teasing you, big lug. Oh. Archibald Asparagus! Oh, yeah. Performing a melodious interpretation of... Military Intelligence! General. I'm information, vegetable, animal, and mineral. I know the kings of England, and I quote the facts historical. From Marathon to Waterloo, in order categorical. <gasps> I'm very well acquainted, too, with matters mathematical. I understand equations, both the simple and quadratical. About my own your theorem, I am teeming with a lot of news. A lot of news, let's see. With many cheerful facts about the square of the hypothesis. With many cheerful facts about the square of the hypothesis. And differential calculus. I know the scientific names of beings and amalculus. In short, in matters vegetable, animal, and mineral, I am the very model of a modern major general. <laughs> Alright, now stay with me. I am the very model of a modern major general. I've information, vegetable, animal, and mineral. I know the kings of England, and I quote the facts historical. From Marathon to Waterloo, in order categorical. I'm very well acquainted, too, with matters mathematical. I understand equations, both the simple and quadratical. About binomial theorem, I am teeming with a lot of news. A lot of news. With many cheerful facts about the square of a hypothesis. I'm ready for it to roll in differential calculus. I know the scientific names of beings and amalculus. Short of matters, vegetable, animal, and mineral. I am the daddy model of a modern major demonstration of accelerated linguistic output certainly emphasizes his perspicacity. I'll say. Did you hear the one about the asparagus who went door-to-door -door looking for work? That data is not on file. Well, he meets this one fellow who offers him 50 bucks to paint his porch. Such a transaction would be deemed equitable. The asparagus comes back in an hour and says, I'm finished, but I think you should know your car is a Ferrari, not a porch. <laughs> that asparagus was clearly not as intelligent as the asparagus who performed just moments ago. What do you mean? Of course he is! It would have taken him twice as long to paint the porch! That would be dishonest. What, are you calling me a cheat? First you insult my family, and then you call me a cheat? Is this another instance of your... teasing? Well, I don't know! What do you think? The intensity of your reaction is unreasonable. Oh, so now I'm being classified as unreasonable, uh -oh. huh? Larry, well, what's up with Rusty? I think he might be experiencing technical difficulties. Technical difficulties? A host can't experience technical difficulties in the middle of a show. What's he so wound up about? I don't know. I have an idea. Maybe I can cheer him up. Wait here. Larry, what? Hey, you're supposed to be randomly selected. It's an emergency. You are my sunshine. My only sunshine, you make me happy when skies are gray. You'll never know, friends, how much I love you. You have been my sunshine today. You are my sunshine, my only sunshine You make me happy when skies are gray You'll never know, friends, how much I love you You have been my sunshine today A little sunshine, God's love is sunshine It makes us happy 
love you. Your expression of friendship is reciprocated. Would you like to see an aardvark singing opera? Yeah, I'd, I'd like that. I'm sorry for getting mad at you. Apology accepted. You're my friend. Confirmed. What's he doing? I don't know. I think I might have cheered him up too much. Oh, this is just great. You are making me uncomfortable. You are my sunshine. Incorrect. I am a random joke generating artificial intelligence unit. Please stop hugging me. <gasps> Bob, I think Rusty might be experiencing randomly generated emotions. Oh, for Pete's sake. I thought his humor was supposed to be randomly generated. Well, yeah, but maybe he has a short circuit or something. Uh, the future's not looking so hot, Larry. Please give enthusiastic acknowledgement to... Ah, great! Hi, not again! Performing a song on the topic of... Big Band? Big Donkey! Alright, is everybody ready? Did I ever mention that I used to live in Buffalo? Oh yeah, it's true. <laughs> Me and my pet mule! Did I mention I had a mule? It goes something like this. I got a mule. Her name is Sal. Fifteen years on the Erie Canal. She's a good old white and a good old pal. Fifteen years on the Erie Canal. We've hauled some barges in our day. Filled, filled with, with lumber, lumber, coal, and hay. And every inch of the way I know from all the me to the buffalo. Years, let me tell you, we went through a lot of mule chow. We better get along on our way, old gal. Fifteen miles on the Erie Canal. Cause you bet your life I never part with Sal. Fifteen miles on the Erie Canal. Get up there, mule, here comes a lock. We'll make Rome about six o'clock. Oh, oh, One oh, more trip, trip and back we'll go. go. Right back home to the Buffalo. Low bridge, everybody down for its low bridge. You see what coming to a town. You can always tell your neighbor, you can always tell your pal. If you ever navigated on the Erie Canal, you can always tell your neighbor, you can always tell your pal. If you ever navigated on the Erie Canal. <laughs> <laughs> Better than pulling a barge, anyway. Here we come now! <laughs> oh, boy. Sal, you're, you're on my foot. Why are you crying? Sorry, Bob. 
I was sure this was going to be the great new way to entertain kids and teach them nice lessons. Oh, oh, like how to tell nonsense jokes and be emotionally unstable? Well, no, but they did hear some pretty cool songs. The cucumbers got a point. Well, okay, those were some pretty cool songs, but with all that went wrong, where's the lesson? Wait a minute. I know something we learned. Mr. Lunt, would you mind queuing up, Junior? You got it. Yeah? Yeah? Uh-huh. Okay. Sure. Ready, Mr. Lunt? Roger. Fire! Larry, we did learn something today. God loves us no matter what happens. Yep, if we have a good day or a bad day. Even if our robots get all goofy, God still loves us. Well, Larry, I think it's time to go home. Yeah, let's go home. Goodbye, future. Goodbye, Bob. Goodbye, Larry. Goodbye, Larry.